here is what I'm doing. Uh, my cousin has this beautiful plum tree and she has a fridge out in her garage just filled with bags of plums. What I did was pitted all the, those are the pits of the plums, chopped them up just a little, just quartered them. But what I'm gonna end up doing um, is putting them in the blender and pulping them a little bit to break up the skin. I have 10 cups of chopped plum and this is going to do two batches of plum jam so what I'm going to do is start ladling some into my mixer pulping it up and then putting it into the pot and then in the pot I'll add water and sugar the recipe I'm using is from the blue book ball book I'm going to be needing three cups of sugar and three-fourths cup water and I've heard people use like a full cup of water too so so there's my pureed mixture in there. I'm gonna be bringing it slowly to a boil, um, but I'm gonna to need to add the sugar and the water and then just bring it to a slow boil. Okay, I put the three cup sugar in. Now I'm gonna add um, the water, three fourths cup water, but I'm doubling that. Um, so there's actually six cups sugar in here and then we'll dissolve that and get this boiling. Jam is boiling. I'm just gonna stir this occasionally. Um, it's on a. I had to get to a rapid boil, and then I lowered it a little so it's boiling, but it's not like gonna burn it. We don't want it to burn. So this is gonna thicken, and I'm gonna test it to see how thick it is in a little while. I have my lids there, get boiling, sanitizing. My dishwasher is filled of the jelly cans. And out here on my deck, I have my Camp Chef stove, and I am getting the water hot and ready to go for bathing the cans. I like doing it outside because then my whole house doesn't get hot. I already started chopping up more, um, and I'm washing up some more plums, chopping and getting the next batch ready to go. I want to see how it's gelling up. I have a plate that I just grabbed out of the freezer. It's been in there all morning. It's nice and really cold see how it pulls and it's coming back a little bit I'm gonna let this simmer away and a boil a little bit longer and then we'll do it again and see what we're looking like okay so I'm gonna put my funnel in here we're just gonna ladle it in this is a nice warm hot jar from um, from the dishwasher they got sanitized in there. You need a one fourth inch head space. Um, so which means this thing here, it's a fourth right here. So when I put it in, I got to make sure that my jam is not passing there. That's a fourth of an inch. So I could put a little bit more in. right there I don't want to go any further so I will wipe down the edges and the top of the jar and then I take my nice sanitized lids with my magnet thing here and I'm gonna come and place it on here and then you take your cap hot I need my pot holder and I, I put it on I don't put it on too tight but I, I put it on because after they boil I go around and tighten them but I put that on like that so I'm gonna fill them up and then place them in the warm bath um, got the cans in we put more water in so it covers it one and a half to two inches this is one and a half covering them so we are going to start it back up and when it gets to a boil then it will um, can in here for 15 minutes. Okay, these are done. I've just been lifting them out of the broiler with this tool here. And then bringing them over. And layering them on my table. I've already heard a few pops from the seals, so that's good. I have two tablecloths on. I think I'm going to add another one. Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that? 
So that gave me five 12 ounce jars. I decided to do 12 ounces for um, the big families that my family and my cousin's family because uh, of all the kids. On to the next batch. Plum jelly or jam is really not hard to do. It's quite easy and it's really delicious. Bye. Bye.